are you still struggling with imposter syndrome? Do you still freeze up doing a Facebook Live? I'm trying to do this Facebook Live and I'm all over the place right now because I forgot that my uh, my actual camera was on my laptop because I just did a live on my personal profile. And so I came in here to do this live here and realized that I don't have a camera. So now I'm trying to find a place to set my camera down uh, or my actually my laptop because my camera is on my laptop. So go figure. Let me see if I can adjust this. It's going to be crazy, but I'll do my best here. So yeah, so now my laptop is kind of hovering on here, but I <laughs> let's get back to the, let's get back to, uh, I, I apologize for like the crookedness of this video, um, but it is what it is. Nothing's ever perfect, right? I did a live on my personal profile, which was much needed because I just celebrated my 25th anniversary and I wanted to say thank you to everyone and I wanted to see how everyone was doing. So if you guys are popping on here, please say hello. If you guys are watching this on replay, please say watching and um, and I can come around and say hello to you. But I wanted to talk about, you know, this problem that we have and why we freeze up on our Facebook lives and a lot and, and one of the main reasons is that we feel uh, imposter syndrome. And so, and I thought, I, you know, I coincidentally talked to um, someone today who was telling me about how they struggle with this. And I'm like, that is a coincidence because I was going to bring that up. And, but, uh, you know, it just goes to show that everybody in our industry, in our business goes through this at one point in their, in their, you know, their business career or their journey, I should say. And so I wanted to kind of smash that, try to smash that thing, you know, try to get those fearful thoughts out of your mind. If like, I remember when I first started doing these lives in particular, the attraction marketing ones, I was so fresh. I was new. I literally was still in the mode, the struggle mode in my network marketing company, let alone trying to be informational and provide value for, you know, for people on here. Uh, first of all, can you hear me? Because I had this problem earlier where people couldn't hear me. So hopefully if you can hear me, please somebody tell me. <laughs> Because earlier on my profile, people were like, I can't hear you. And I had to start over and all this. So it'd be great if someone puts like a one or something in the comment to let me know that they can actually hear me. Um, otherwise, I'll keep talking in silence for the next 10 minutes. So anyways, I started off and I was like, gosh, what can I possibly share with my audience? Thank you, Jill. I really appreciate that. What can I possibly share with my audience that will make me an expert or will make me sound like an expert because it's was it was so so difficult for me it was a new industry for me i was only in network marketing for a year at that point and then it was so new to actually be coaching on attraction marketing cuz i was what when I first started doing lives, I believe I had been in attraction marketing for like not even three months and not even in a high, uh, high level mentorship at that point yet. I was still in basic, you know, I just bought the book kind of thing and I was reading it and not knowing what the heck, you know, thank you, Facebook user, whoever you are, and not, not really knowing whether what I was saying was providing any value. And I, I, I even, I even got more fearful when I was in the community one time in the Facebook community, the attraction marketing one. And I was like, I tried to be helpful because that's my nature. And somebody asked a question in there. And like I said, I was new. Okay. When I answered this question, I was literally like two months into the program. 
And they asked the question. It was something really simple. I still remember it because I was kind of traumatized about the whole thing. And they were saying, if I get a hater on my one of my posts, either a live or a, a you know any kind of post or an ad or whatever, what do I do? Like they were freaking out. And I had remember, you know, I remembered a mentor talking about that in this these first two months I was in it, saying that you should hide it and not delete it so that way you can get engagement. Now I forgot I like I I got I confused it, right? I when I I heard it in my head, I was like dyslexic or something because I answered the question right away. And I didn't even give myself time to really think about it. And I said, oh, just delete it and move on. And I was, and then somebody else who was obviously in the program longer than me said, no, no, don't delete it. You know, just hide it so you can, you know, get credit for the engagement and then you don't have to see the, the post. And I was like mortified. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like, why was I answering this question when uh, apparently I didn't even know the answer to it? You know, I was just trying to help. And when things, hi Liz, and when things like that happen, your confidence gets shot down even more. I mean, you're already, you know, freaking out because you're not an expert on something or you feel like you're not an expert on something. And then you do something like that and get shot down even more. I mean, they were not mean about it. They just said something else. And I took it badly. You know, I was like, oh, my gosh, why did I say that? I'm so stupid. You know, whatever. Why did I even try to answer it? I've only been in it for two months, blah, blah, blah. And it made me it like stopped me in my tracks. Like I was like, I'm never going to answer a question again, because what if I do that again? Right. And I kind of mulled over that for about. 20 minutes. <laughs> so, you know, I, 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 I bounce back quick, guys. And, and then instead this is how you know I was ready to to really, you know, put my best foot forward when it came to this business. I had already, prior to joining the program, had already listened to so many uh, gurus and little courses here and there. And I knew that I was being dumb <laughs> by mulling over this, you know, thing that I just did. And so instead of, you know, stopping me from doing future posts or giving future advice, I looked back at my mistake and I was like, okay, I learned the lesson. Next time I'm going to wait before I answer so that I could think more about what my answer is going to be, right? Don't jump to, uh, to answering things really quick when you don't know exactly what the answer is, right? Um, and then two, what did I learn? I learned that you hide the comment before you Delete, you don't delete it. And so sometimes you got to hear things over and over to actually learn something, right? Like, you know, a lot of times we, I mean, even you listening to me right now, you know, chances are, you know, 30 days down the line, you're going to be like, what did she say again? And then you'd have, you'll have to hear it again, which is normal. It's normal, like human nature, you know, human, how the mind works is that sometimes we have to hear things over and over again to actually, you know, sink in. There are people who are, you know, very gifted at just remembering everything, right? I have photographic memory, so that's good. You know, but when it comes to like listening or reading to something, I need to work harder. I'm not someone who can read something and then understand it right away. I have to literally read something, you know, five or six times before <laughs> I get it. And that's why when I do, you know, when I read these business books or even when I read like my sci-fi fantasy you know, um, novels, sometimes I read them over and over again, because I really want, you know, I love them so much that I really want to get to the meat and potatoes and like, what's the theme? What, you know, well, what did I learn from this and, and all that? And so that kind of thing kind of freezes you. And notice how it's a very generic problem. I'm, and I'm, I had titled this, you know, Facebook lives, you know, or, you know, imposter syndrome, right? There's these labels. But really, if you think about the core reasons why you don't do certain things, it all comes down to almost the same. Because you stop yourself from fear of doing something. 
Maybe you screwed up last time and you're like, I'm not doing that again. So you're like your fear, fear to make a mistake again. Right. And what we really got to do is we got to first thing is stop. Stop. (laughs) Meaning stop those evil thoughts. I was talking to Tony about this earlier because they're lying. They're lies. They're all lies. You know, just because you make a mistake, it doesn't mean that the next time you're going to make it. And even though your brain is telling you, oh, don't do it. Don't do it. You might fuck up again. Whoops. (laughs) Sorry. You know, but they're lying. It's it's like it's like a devil on your shoulder, right? You got the angel and the devil, right? And this one's saying, no, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't ever do it again. You know, you're gonna look stupid. And then this one's like, no, just use it as a lesson to move on. You know, learn a lesson. You know, what's three things you did right? What's two things you didn't? What one thing can you do different next time to make it better, right? And it's the same when you're doing your Facebook lives. A lot of reasons why we do face we don't want to do a Facebook live, is because we're petrified of something. Whether it's we look like crap, we might say something wrong, we're not qualified to talk to anybody. Like when you go to a movie theater and you watch a great movie and you come back home and you tell all your friends about it and you tell your, you know, your husband about it or you tell your wife or you tell your family, hey, I just saw this awesome movie, you gotta go and watch it, you know what I mean? Why is it easier to do that than it is to relay something that you've learned, just learned? Like maybe I just read something. And right after I read it, you know, I wrote notes or something and I'm going to tell you guys about it or I'm going to, uh, what do you call it? What's the word? Broker the information. So like teach you, I'm going to teach you what I just learned. How is that different from going and watching a movie and coming back and telling all your friends about about it, telling them all to watch it, right? So what you need to do is to be just as excited, just as excited to teach this one thing you just learned as you would be if you were coming back from a great movie, maybe you watched like Avengers, you know, and you loved it, and you came back and you told everybody about it. It's the same thing. You might not think it's the same thing, but it literally is the same thing. Okay, today I have a very, very good friend, one of my best friends that I went out to um, uh, to my Mother's Day trip on. If you guys noticed, I went on a Mother's Day trip last weekend Um, and I kept talking about my air fryer. Right. I I was like, I could put a steak in there. I could put a pork chop in there. Perfect. It cooks perfectly. I could, you know, and I kept talking about it. I don't know why. It's because somebody brought it up. And I just started telling them about all these different things that I cook in it. You know, I'm like Brussels sprouts, you know, asparagus, uh, toast. I make my own croutons in there. Like I just was laying it, you know, thick, you know, about my air fryer. And my friend, she is a VP at Google marketing. Okay. She's a branding and marketing specialist for Google. She, I sent her a picture today of this, she, she, during the weekend, she had bought me a, uh, a scone, right? And it's this amazing bakery. It's well-known over in Santa Barbara. And she bought me a scone and I forgot it in my bag. So what? It's been three days since Sunday. And I took it out today, put it in the air fryer for two minutes, took it back out. And it was like new. It was, I mean, I'm not even kidding. It was like new. And I sent her the, her the picture because she bought it for me. And she goes, you should go out and sell, you can go out there and sell thousands of air fryers because she goes, go out there, marketing specialist. You know, she was calling me one because she knows what I do now. And I was just laughing and I was just thinking, you know what? That's exactly what we network marketers have to do. We first have to get excited about our product, excited about our opportunity. And all we're doing is sharing. We're sharing it on Facebook, on live. So there's no way, like, there's no reason to be petrified or to freeze up when you're doing a Facebook Live because all you're doing is sharing. You're not saying, hey, we got this three for one special. I hope you guys can, you know, here's all the colors and here's all the benefits to this oil or whatever it is. And you're basically selling and you hate it. You hate it. Because who likes doing that, right? Instead, 
be excited about what the product is and just share what you love about it. This is a great way to start doing Facebook Lives. And then you will get more and more comfortable with it and do it more often and find different content. It, it's, it's no longer just going to be excited and sharing something. It's just going to be content, various content, where you're providing value. And that, my friends, is how to do a Facebook Live without having to be an expert. So I hope you guys got some value from that because I was excited to, you know, train you guys on that. Super excited because I know that when you start doing this, you're going to start to see some, some progress. You're going to start to get some traction in your business. And it makes me super excited. I mean, it makes me think like, you know, whoever is watching this, and whoever takes action on what I talked about and used me as an example, I told you a couple of my stories, right? I have no doubt that you guys can be Facebook lives like masters by, I don't know, 90 days. I don't know. Like it depends on how many times you do it, right? Repetition is the mother of all mastery. So the more often you do it, the better you get at it. And I'm going to Put you, I'm going to pull you out, Tony, because I remember in the group when you did your Facebook Live and I thought you were a natural. And I think it's because you are doing online teaching during the pandemic and you just, I feel, I saw, I'm sorry, I'm not, I feel, I saw in the camera the that you were a natural, even though you don't think so. Even maybe you don't know whether you can do it again, but that's what I saw. And I don't, I've never seen you teach or anything like that, but I, that's what I saw. And I don't know if you guys are in the group and you saw Tony's live, you know, a few weeks ago when we were doing uh, that homework thing. And I thought it was awesome. So anyways, that's it for now. I will see you guys again. Who Those of you who are in my coaching group, I'll see you tomorrow. It might be, I'm not sure what time yet. I'm doing a turnaround tomorrow. I am going to fly with my mom home. She's been here for two months. She's finally going home. I'm sure she's excited, but she's been here for two months. I'm going to fly her down at 7.30 in the morning. We get there at 8.50, no, 8.40. And then I'm going to go back into the air, airport and get back on a plane at 9.50 and come back home. So this is like, this is definitely a turnaround for me. I just, I just dreaded the, 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 I had so much anxiety of driving her down there that I was like, screw it. It's totally worth paying for a ticket right now and just flying with her and bringing her home. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I hope you guys uh, have a great day tomorrow. I'll see you guys, like I said, in the group. If you guys are not in my group, it's free. So if you want an extra training, which I do on Thursdays, go in and join my group. I'm going to put the link down there or if someone who's watching already has the link and you want to put it in down there, I would appreciate that a lot. Other than that, we'll see you guys again in the on my business page on Friday. And uh, I hope you guys are staying safe. You're staying well and living abundantly. And I'll see you again on my next video. Aloha.